Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'm in a bit of a different spot today and that is because I'm doing my office tour and like kind of my storage and organization tour. So I'm here in my like home office Sensi, Sensi room hybrid um, and we've recently kind of redone this room. Piper wanted to come say hello. So here's Piper, you haven't seen her in a little bit, but here she is all grown up. <laughs> she is, yes, she, you when you, she doesn't show up very often. She's kind of a cat who likes to be held only on her own terms and those terms just ended. So she is down there again. <laughs> so this room in our home serves a few different purposes. Um, it does hold some of my daughter's toys, um, like overflow toys from her bedroom. It also is a home office for like my job when I work from home. And it's also the Sensi room. So it's a room of many functions. And so it needs to be kind of like better organized. So we did kind of go through and organize it. My husband mostly, he's a much better organizer than I am. That stuff just does not come naturally to me. I am very much a chaos person as far as organization goes. Um, I tend to work in piles or like bins where I know where things are, but they're kind of just loosely organized. Um, he is more organized than I am. And so he helped me kind of go through and organize things. So it's a lot better than it was. And so I'm hoping this video can help you get some ideas for organization for your things and just kind of give you some ideas on how you might want to organize some of your things or improve upon the way I organize even. So if you have ideas for me, put them below. If, if you want to share how you organize your stash, that would be amazing as well. Put that below and give, we can all kind of learn from each other. So I'm going to take you on a little tour here of my office. I'm going to go through my business supplies my Scentsy bars, my Scentsy products, and just kind of take you through it all. So let us get started. All right, so here we are in the hallway outside of my office. So this is just kind of looking in so you can have a sense of the size of the room. It's kind of like a standard bedroom, like standard secondary bedroom size on the smaller side, if anything. So when you first walk in here, I do have this rolling cart. This is from Michaels. It comes in a million different colors and it is relatively inexpensive. There are wheels you can put on the bottom. I just chose not to put the wheels on. And in here, I keep my monthly melting basket right on top. So I can just kind of dip into this room quickly, grab a bar that I want to change my wax to and just go. And so that's kind of handy to just have sitting right there at the ready. So you've seen this for the month already. This is just my August melting basket. Next down here, we have bars that I've used since I last filmed what I've been warming. So I uploaded one a few days ago. I've already used that many bars and you'll see me talk about those in my next what I've been warming video. Um, if you don't do YouTube, there's no reason to have this basket. But if you don't do YouTube, th there this is handy, depending on how you melt and all of that sort of thing. Some folks do like to have a monthly melting basket to grab from. But unless you film, I can't see you needing a what I've been what I've been using type basket in your stash. Down at the bottom here, I have got all of my Sensi bricks, and most of those are I think they're all chopped up right now, ready to be used. Those were put in a drawer a while ago. I've moved them to here so I actually might have a chance of using them or remembering to use them, because I always forget my bricks. Here we have the testers from my. Um, tester kit bag from spring summer so these are spring summer testers and I've recently swapped out my bag to fall so I'm just sitting those there and those will probably stay there until we know what's coming back next spring and summer and then I'll weed through those and go through it here we have a basket next to it this is just a large basket that I use to store other wax so nonsensey I've got some candle warmers in here some vendor wax some Yankee candle just like random, this is one of my favorite nonsensey bars, um, just some like random wax that is not from Scentsy. There's a little wallflower there. It kind of provides like a nightlight effect as well, so I like that one. And yeah, so that is the little entry wall here in my office. That is my ring light. It is broken, but I use it for a camera stand most of the time, so I'll wrap a... Um, another little thing around here to hold my phone and that's how I film. Um, that just kind of lives in here wherever I, wherever I put it. Down there we have my daughter's little piano and her ukulele underneath it, I think. Ukulele might be gone. Um, but she sits there and plays sometimes while I do other things at my desk. 
In the window there we have kind of like my fragrance flower graveyard. This is just kind of where the fragrance flowers go and get put when they're used up. So you can kind of see the ones that have been used up longest are quite dried out, whereas the ones that are more recently finished are still oily. And that one is too. So so you never see these in my monthly melting in my monthly empties because I can't really put these when they're first used up into my empties basket because it would make everything oily. So for now they live there just as kind of like a semi decoration until I figure out what to do with them. I have seen some people make like wreaths out of them. So for the ones that are dry, I might eventually like stick them in a wreath because these are like dry to the touch. And they do have just a tiny bit of fragrance left to them. So I might eventually stick those into like a wreath or something or I don't know. For now, that's where they go. Then over here is like my business supplies, just in this like trolley right here. This was also from Michael's. It's a like deeper bin rolling cart. So on top is a box that's gonna be a gift for a friend who is also here on YouTube, so I'm not going to uh, peek into it. I've got some fragrance flowers here, just kind of waiting to go. I've got a goodie bag for a customer, a local customer. Um, and I've got a, another camera stand here that I need to take out and figure out. So the top drawer here is just pods, pods and car stuff. So that is my stash of pods. And then I have in here also just car things. So I have some scent circles and some car bar clips and car bars. Um, sometimes I will mail out or give out scent circles as thank you gifts for customers. So those are in here. And then there's also my own stash in here too. Like I don't mail these out to customers, but these are like mine. So anything that goes for the car, whether for myself or for thank you gifts, does go in here, along with just my personal stash of pods. Next drawer is like my thank you card making bin. So in here I've got a Sharpie, some sample bags, my business card magnets, business cards, coupons that I mail out to repeat customers. I've got a thing of post-it notes down there. Thank you stickers, they look like that. And those go on scent circles and thank you card envelopes. I've got my box of thank you cards. I've got more thank you cards. I've got labels, spatulas, more labels, um, like return address labels for my envelopes. I've got some gel pens down there and yeah, some envelopes. So that is what is in there. <clears throat> Anything I would need for a thank you card I keep in there. In the third drawer here, I just have order bags for like local orders and catalogs. So I have current catalogs. If I have flyers, I sometimes keep those in here too. But yeah, that right now is just like small and large order bags and fall catalogs, the current catalog. Down here is more of a mishmash. We have more labels because I'm running low on Scentsy labels, so when I run out of the ones I have, I'll use these. I've got my flyers that I include in every thank you card, my post-it notes, and scented stickers. So all of my scented stickers are down here as well. So there's that. And then down here, I have samples, which I sometimes include in mail out for customers, or in thank you bags, or whatever I've got. So well, how I do my thank you things is local customers don't get thank you mail from me. Local customers get goodie bags that look like this. Um, it's got like a scent circle, a couple samples, one wax cube, and like a catalog and all that kind of good stuff. Whereas for most of my customers who are not local, which is the majority of them, they get happy mail every time we get a catalog change and they get coupons as well. So local customers of mine do not get coupons whereas um, non-local customers get coupons because it's easier for me to give them coupons or to just add things onto their orders as like free items. So that is how I take care of my out of town customers. So again, back down here, I just have some laundry stuff. So I have like scent soft laundry liquid and washer whiffs, as well as some body care samples in Luna. And Luna tends to be a scent that doesn't offend people at least. So I, I usually go with Luna. And then I have some old catalogs down there as well, just for future reference. 
Because when it comes time to be like January or something, I'm going to need to refer to the old catalog to let you guys know what did and didn't make the cut to come back. So I do keep that there. I've also got this random bar of Cider Mill old style hand soap ready to go. I am chomping at the bit to put this out and start using it. And then, yeah, my desk, I'm not going to show you, well, I'll show you my desk, but not for very long. It's not pretty. It's not organized. It's just kind of a mishmash of all my things. That's kind of how I tend to work just in life. Um, down here, there's a very large box, but at least it's a pretty box. And it is overflow wax. So any wax that I already had bars in my storage cabinets of, I put in here. And so this can be spare, bring back my bar, or it can be like holiday scents, like whatever I have that I just already have too many of in my drawers, I just keep in here. So that's overflow. And then here we are with the stash. So this is opposite to the trolley wall. So if I turn around, there's the trolley wall where my like belting basket is. And on this wall, we have the actual storage. So along the top here, I have a few things. This is like samples, cotton cleanups, and things like that in there. This basket is bars for Sara from New Zealand. Her and I are planning another swap. So this is stuff that I've set aside for her. This is fall winter testers from last season. I'm actually gonna put this over here put those down there because I'm going to have to do something with those. I haven't decided what yet, but something will be done. Then here I have like a little gift from my director and some of my room sprays. And on the top of this one, I just have a little decoration thing. Um, and then some bars that local customers have purchased from me. So this is stuff that is waiting to be picked up by locals. And then I have my tester kit ready to go for fall for anyone who wants to sniff things locally. So that is the tops there. Before we get into the drawers, I'm gonna show you just my um, thing down here. I've got this big basket down here in the corner. That is just my monthly empties. So anything that I film, once I film my what I've been warming video for next week, I will take this and like bars that I haven't finished up will just get put back in the storage unit stuff that I have used up will go in the monthly empties after I film that video. So monthly empties that I've already talked about are in here. And that is just kind of where that lives in the corner down there. Up on top of this um, like kind of doored storage closet thing, I have some canvases and I have cotton cleanups and cotton balls. And only a couple shelves in here are mostly scentsy stuff and it's not well organized by any means my husband didn't help me organize this so it's just robin style <laughs> and so this is just like an empty bucket of cat litter that is just now being it now appears to be storing like painting stuff so that's like some art supplies i have a spare stand here bitty buddy i've got some body stuff up top here so i've got shower gels kind of loosely organized into bath and body works and then some scentsy ones here, a scrub, a fragrance flower, some lotions I haven't gotten to use yet. And then my spare light bulbs are also in here. So if a customer or myself needs a light bulb, they're there. Down on this shelf here, I have like laundry, um, scentsy soaks and like bath and body or like cleaning products. So scentsy soaks are kind of over here. Then I have counter cleans and then laundry. And I think these are Scentsy Fresh, yeah. So Scentsy Fresh, a random beach towel. We don't get a lot of like beach days around here. We don't live anywhere near water, so haven't used it. Um, spare washer whiffs. I have a, Fuji, a Fiji flower and a pink cotton, and then a big one of palm trees and ocean breeze. I have a spare scent soft, and then a spare bathroom cleaner. So, oh, I have counter clean and winterberry apple tea. Score. I will look forward to that one. And then there's just kind of a random, like, Bath and Body Works hand soap down here, along with a Bright Cider Life one. 
And that is all the Scentsy in there. So that's like my non my non wax, non wax, Scentsy stuff. I try to keep that stash not too large, just so I don't get like overwhelmed with product. Now we're going to go through the four like trolley or like storage cart things. Again, these were supposed to be rolling. They have wheels. I opted to not put the wheels on them because I don't need them to roll. I would actually prefer if they don't roll. So I just left the wheels off. These were super easy to assemble by myself. Um, and they're relatively inexpensive at Michael's and they're available in Canada and the US as far as I'm aware. They also come in rainbow colors. So you can get them in clear or rainbow. I opted to go with clear just so I could kind of see what was in them kind of vaguely. And the reason there's two different colored labels is because, you know, I couldn't find the index cards when I went to make new labels. So the white ones are ones that have been on here for ages, like a long, long time. The blue ones are new ones or newer and more recent. So I have always had a bakery drawer and that is kind of, I recently separated bakery though. So I now have two bakery drawers and I have two sweet drawers. So for me, there's kind of a difference between bakery and sweet, but most of the time Scentsy doesn't make that differentiation. Most of the time Scentsy puts sweet scents under bakery. So let's do sweet first. We have like pink sugarberry mint, pink haze, bubble gum, uh, raspberry lollipop, toasted marshmallow, apricot vanilla, caramel salted toffee, um, I even got a cashmere pear in there. Oh, I do have sugar. There it is. Yeah, so I've got some like sweet bars in there that you wouldn't necessarily call bakery. Um, caramel vanilla delight. To me, that's like a butterscotch syrup. Root beer float. Again, super sweet, but not bakery. Um, tangerine creamsicle. Candy crave. Southern sweet tea. Vanilla waves. Um, cotton candy cookie. So those are kind of all scents that I have under sweet banana berry. Yeah. So those are sweet. Bakery is a different thing. So bakery is stuff that you would bake, of course. So lemon coconut chiffon, we have apple and oats, uh, baked apple pie, almond croissant, brownie batter, caramel pear crisp, sugar cookie, apple butter frosting, cherry almond pie. I've got mocha doodle in there. I do put coffee blends usually under bakery just because I don't know where else to put them. They kind of go with bakery, so yeah. Coffee tree, gingerbread donut, which I'm looking forward to warming. Cutie pie cupcake, yeah. So that's my top bakery drawer. And here's my second bakery drawer. I don't distinguish between the top and the second bakery drawer. It's just whatever fits where. I'll have to dig through both to find what I want. I'm not that organized to make it so certain bakery scents go in which one. It's just, it's whatever. So walnut raisin muffin, red, white, and berry pie. Bright Cider Life. Scentsy puts it under fruity. I put it under bakery. Uh, more cutie pie cupcake, more apple butter frosting. We have happy birthday and birthday wishes. Oats and honey, blueberry pancakes, lemon drizzle cake, clementine cupcake, churro churro, Central Park pralines, French toast, salted caramel cupcake, and more apple and oats. And that is bakery. So we've already kind of gone through sweets, so I won't go through them again. Then we have spice. And this one, it's tricky because like a lot of the winter scents do have spice. A lot of the fall scents have spice. And I do have separate places for those. So this is kind of spice scents that I either have duplicates of that go in here or spice scents that don't fit under specific holidays. So for instance, cinnamon vanilla. I don't have this anywhere else. Cinnamon and vanilla to me just goes under spice. Same with boho. To me, boho doesn't really fit anywhere else, so it just goes under spice. It's kind of like a potpourri type scent. Wassail Wonderland is a spice scent, but it's also a Christmas scent, so it's also in my Christmas bin. We have Spiced Orange Harvest, which I think I only have there. Cedar Cider, Autumn Hearth. Again, those could go under fall, but I have them in spice. Spiced Ember Glow I have in my winter section as well, but I also have in spice. My Home. Cozy Fireside, Welcome Home, Cozy Chai, and Mandarin Moon. I have all of those in the spice drawer. And that one still has room. I do have another one here that was Fall Spice. It's no longer Fall Spice. I've kind of rearranged that. So 
This is now just an empty drawer. Then we have a couple more empties. And then at the bottom, I have a couple drawers for spare scent of the months. So I don't always get the consultant kit. Sometimes I do. If it's, if it's a scent that I think I wouldn't mind having a bunch of bars of if no one buys them, then I buy it. Because I usually sell a few of them, but if I don't sell any of them, then I don't want eight bars of a scent that I don't like. So here we have a few like leftover. I have a couple vanilla blackberries, a few stargazings, a few pink lemon waters, a couple pink sugarberry mints, and quite a few ruby nectarines. So there's those. And then down here is just more scent of the month. We have more pink lemon water, a few scary good at the back there, which is no longer a scent of the month. That's now going to be catalog, but I have a few bars of that because it was in my club too. Um, red, white, and berry pie. So there's my stash of those. Then at the top here, I have a new and testing drawer. This is like a temporary parking spot for scents that I'm trying out. So scents that are new that I feel like I need to give more time to or focus on are going to go in this drawer. So like I've warmed these, but I've only warmed them like maybe once each, maybe twice. Yeah, like twice. So I need to give those more time. This is the Mealy drawer. Amelia is nicknamed Mealy by our family. So this is the Mealy drawer. These are all scents that she picked out for herself for her room. So it is, she picked out the Mix It um, Spun Sugar and Vanilla, Red, Birthday Wishes, Candy Crave, Newborn Nursery she picked out, which surprised me. I didn't think she would go for that one, but she did. Rainbows and Butterflies, Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl, Polar Bear Hug, Dumbo, she liked that one. Pink Haze, she loves that one. Winnie the Pooh, Coconut Vanilla Orchid. She just likes purple, so I think that's why she went with that one. I'm Snow Over It, she liked, she really does like that one. Um, True Love Awaits and Gleeful Grape. Now when I first got this, this was in the fruit bundle in the last clearance or flash sale. I said this was like a really non-medicinal grape and I don't think it is medicinal. Yeah, I think this is kind of like a bubblegummy grape. But she said she likes it because it reminds her of children's Advil. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it smell it tastes like it smells like medicine. She's like, yeah, I like that. So she thinks it smells like grape children's Advil. So it might be medicinal depending on your nose. But from the kid who actually takes children's Advil in the grape flavor, she thinks it smells just like that. So there's that one. Then I have a berry drawer. Now I was finding that a lot of the fruity scents were kind of just berry scents, so I decided to differentiate between fruity and berry. And so here we have this drawer. At the front of the drawer we have kind of more like all year round berry scents, at the back of the drawer we have like Christmassy berry scents. So I've got snow kissed cranberry, red berry and spruce, winter berry apple tea, and very merry cranberry, so those are some like holiday ones. Then we have like Love You Berry Much, Aussie Plum, Vanilla Blackberry, uh, Berry Blessed, Sun Ripened Berry, Dancing Sugar Plums, which I think is kind of a, it's not really a specifically holiday-ish one to me, Cozy Cranberry, Huckleberry Clementine, Pretty and Plum, Blackberry Meringue is a beautiful one, another bar of Red, Mulberry Bush, and another Love You Berry Much. Now usually what I try to do is put the same bars on top of each other, so that's what I'll do. So that way, Love You Very Much is the same both. So these drawers hold three wide and two deep and three like inwards. So they hold 18 bars of wax per drawer, which I think is nice because it's not so many that you're going to have trouble digging through it, but it's also not so many that you're going to like have them suffocating each other. They get to like air a little bit and they don't fully seal so they can breathe. It's just a nice setup. This is bedroom scents, more for our bedroom. So I've got like French Kiss in here, Relax, Huckleberry Sage, Luna, My Wish, of course, like front row, um, Whipped Vanilla Lavender, Fuzzy Blanket, Sleep Happy, Catching Z's, um, Snuggle Up, Pacific Sandalwood, two of my absolute favorite bars ever. Um, Catching Z's Pillow Time, Stargazing, Plum and White Woods, Cashmere Pear, those two are also excellent. 
satin sheets. I got two bars in there, sparkling magnolia and French lavender. So all very like kind of sleepy, soothing, kind of soft scents. And what I do find is that I tend to be a seasonal melter, but for the bedroom, I tend to go for more like just bedroomy scents all year round. Like I'm not gonna melt, not always. I usually won't melt intensely seasonal scents in the bedroom. Sometimes I will, but not usually. Usually my go-to are scents like this. So I have a drawer specifically for those. Then we have the laundry and clean drawer. So these are like laundry scents. And I don't tend to warm a lot of laundry wax. Now these are scents that I like, but I don't necessarily reach for a ton. So we have coconut cotton, which was a bring back my bar last summer. We have a few bars here of pink cotton. I stocked up on that because it's gone for the winter. And that one I do really like. Up Air of Adventure. This is probably my favorite like laundry clean scent. Um, this one is in my club. And so I only have the one bar of it because I keep using them up as I get them. Um, lavender cotton. I've got a bar of jammy thyme, a bar of blue from the Chase Rainbows collection. We've got some Magnolia Linen, some Clean Breeze, some Atlantic Air, and a Snuggle Up. Now Snuggle Up, I would say, is the least laundryish of these. It's just that I didn't have room for another one in my bedroom thing. And it could sort of go under laundry. Yeah, it could sort of go in laundry. So it is right there. Then we have the fresh drawer. Now I have had a fresh drawer for a long time. I have recently split off the fresh scents as well. So fresh has now become fresh, laundry, and I've also got like green fresh scents down below. So this is just like scents that are fresh but don't fit in any other fresh category. So in here I have Inner Peace, Best in Snow, Pineapple Coconut Vanilla, Just Breathe, Thunderstorm, which is also in floral. Um, it's kind of fresh, but it's also very heavily floral. Bonfire Beach is here. Summer Rain, I've got a couple bars. Vitamin S Soothe. Prickly Pear and Agave, Perfect Peppermint, Amazon Rain, and Polar Bear Hug. I'm actually going to move Perfect Peppermint out of here. I have an Icy Cool drawer, and it's going to go in the Icy Cool drawer. So there's that. Okay. Next down here, we have the Masculine Cologne Scents. I don't have many of these because I don't care for them myself very much. So I only have a few, but there's room to grow. So I have Hendrix, which I do really like. It's like a nice patchouli scent we had in Bring Back My Bar a while back. So that's one that I do like. I have it in my club. I also have a bar of World Traveler that is really growing on me. Yeah, I really like this one. I liked it when it was new as well, but I'm liking it even more as it sits. Some of those woodsy notes are really developing and becoming very beautiful. So I would order this again if I could get my hands on it. I have Zeppelin and Simply Irresistible, which were from the last Bring Back My Bar Around. Blue Sage and Tonka, which is currently in the fall catalog. I really like this scent. Um, if I had to pick a favorite masculine scentsy scent, this would be it. It's like a... It is woodsy, but it's also kind of just herbal and soft and just kind of cozy. I just really like this one. So that one is one that I tend to warm in August when it gets cooler, but it's not fall yet. So that one is in my melting basket as well. We have White Amber and Teak here, as well as Marvel Nine Realms, Palo Santo, and Sheer Leather. Now you might notice that we go from scents that are very high priority for me. So like new scents, my daughter's bin, berry, bedroom, those are all things that I'll reach for a lot. Down to like laundry, fresh, masculine, pine tree, green. So we're seeing a kind of a progression of things we'll use a lot to things we won't use as much as we go down the line here. Because if you've watched me for any length of time, you know I'm not a big pine tree girl. And here's the drawer of pine tree scents. So these I'm not gonna reach for very often. A little bit in the winter maybe. So we have a bar of Mighty Pine, which I didn't love. Um, very snowy spruce, red berry and spruce. This one is probably my favorite pine tree scent. Yeah, that one's good. It's like a berry pine tree. It's very nice. Icicles and Evergreen, Iced Pine, Homestead Holiday, which I do really like. Just for you. That's what I do really like as well. See, I don't keep a ton of pine scents that I don't like. 
but this one I really like. So just for you is like a, almost like a berry or a blackberry and pine. And it's actually quite similar to the Slytherin bar from Harry Potter. Yeah, those two are quite close. I think just for you is stronger. Last winter we had Season of Magic from Disney as well. This bar was really lovely as well. Yeah, this one is pine tree, but it's like fresh grass and pine tree. So it's not like an aggressive, super sharp pine. It's very smooth by like kind of a sweet grass note. So I like that one. Then we have the green fresh scents. So these are kind of, this year we've had a very much like a surplus of like cucumber and leafy greens and dewy greens and that kind of thing. So all of those types of scents are in here. So we have Sunburst Bamboo, Vitamin Inhale, Chase Rainbows Green, Rainforest Bungalow, Christmas Cactus, Wally, the classified bar. We have Bamboo Yuzu and Alpine Meadow. So those are just kind of like the green grassy leafy type scents. Then I have a drawer here of like bring back my bar duplicates from like the last few rounds. So we have just some extra bring back my bar scents that I didn't have room for anywhere else at the very bottom there. So here is the icy cool drawer and this is kind of like your minty type scents. So we have best in snow. I keep this one like top and center for like if I have a headache. Um, Slay all day. Marshmallow mint. Icicles and Evergreen. Two bars of Silver Bells here. I'm gonna try to move my camera a little bit. Peppermint Dreams, this is a beautiful like chocolate mint one. It's really good. Arctic Kiss, Frosted Vanilla, new to the cat. This is, oh my gosh, this one is so good, you guys. Um, yeah, if you haven't tried any of the new fall winter scents, you really probably should try Frosted Vanilla. This one's fantastic. So this one is like woodsy, a little bit minty, but like that vanilla is really nice as well. Um, if you want to compare it to something, I would compare it to Olaf Warm Hugs from last winter and the winter before. They're actually quite close to my nose. So if you liked Olaf, but you wish it had more vanilla, then try Frosted Vanilla. Then I have some Fearless by Nature here. This one is not, not as minty. This one's more, I think, green and woodsy, but it does have a bit of mint too. It is cool. It feels very cool. Then we have NHL Fresh Ice, Perfect Peppermint, which I just added to that, and Vanilla Mint back here as well. So that is my icy cool drawer. Those are scents that I, I really like most of those. I tend to like mint scents, so those are ones that I that I like. Can't get that in there. There we go. Okay. This one is fall. So this is like the nice orange and yellow and golden pumpkin spice scents. So I do have Autumn Hearth in here, as well as Honey Pear Cider, Scary Good, um, Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. This was part of the Harvest Trio last fall and this one did not return, but we did get Orchard, Orchard Apple and Spice back. This one was probably my favorite of the three, but it did not come back, but it was, it was nice. So I have a bar of that, Mandarin Moon, Breakfast in Bed, which is no longer with us. Pumpkin Tiramisu, which was discontinued like a couple seasons ago. This one is Autumn Stroll. This one is like old school Scentsy packaging as well. So this one is actually coming back, I think. I'll have to double check that. I know Apple Press is. Maybe Autumn Stroll isn't. This one's really nice though. Whoops. This one's like a gently spiced kind of apple with a little bit of a woodsiness to it. It's really pretty. So there's Autumn Stroll. I'll use that this fall. And we have Cider Mill, classic. Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Not to be confused with Very Perry Pumpkin. Um, some people hate both. I kind of like Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Yeah, that's perfectly pleasant. The pear in there is quite nice. It's like a nice bright sweet pear. I like that one. Then we have pumpkin roll around the campfire grandma's orchard this was also in the um flash sale haul i did a while back and this one's funny because when i smelled it in the video like a first sniff i loved this one like loved then i like it right now too like i just sniffed it i like it again when i smelled it about a week ago i got like real cat pee vibes from it it was really weird and i don't smell that right now 
No, I don't. But I really did, like, last time I sniffed it. So it seems to be one that it depends when you sniff it, but it might be one of those ones that shifts depending on when you smell it. Um, so I got Bright Cider Life in there, which is, like, one of my all-time favorites. Painted Leaves, Autumn Road Trip, Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, and Spiced Orange Harvest. So lots of, like, fall goodness in that drawer. Then I have a Halloween drawer, specifically Halloween, because I, I have so many fall scents I had room to, I had to prune them out somehow. So we have more Scary Good, which I think is a very Halloween-y scent. Um, the scent of the month for September is called Gimme Candy, and it's supposed to smell like Halloween candy and like sponge sugar and stuff, so I strongly suspect that will be going into this drawer as well, and probably mixing with Scary Good in my warmers, because that sounds like it would be great. Um, I have a couple bars of Halloween Town. This one is not coming back this year. This one was really good. I'm sad we're not getting this back. It is like a berry apple spice. And it does feel kind of dark and Halloween-y. I really like that one. We have Caramel Apple Craze. Which is one that, I mean, could be any time in the fall. But I personally tend to only warm this close to Halloween because it smells like caramel apples. So I keep it in the Halloween drawer along with casting spells, which a lot of people really hate. I don't mind that scent at all. I think it's just fine. Um, Dark and Devious, which isn't specifically a Halloween scent even, but it just kind of smells Halloween-y to me. It's like a musky star anise licorice -y type of scent, so I put that in there. We have Ghostly Greetings, which it's got like kind of a dried leafy like dried leaves, maybe fig, kind of like earthy, very earthy scent. I like that one, but only at Halloween. And then we have a bar of Jack's Obsession. This one I have a lot of because I love this scent. So I made sure to put a, a bar of it in here. This is like green apple, cloves, and cinnamon. It's a really nice, like just fall apple spice. So I've got a bar of that there. Then we have the woodsy and earthy drawer. So we've got woodsy earthy scents here. We have Blonde Wood and Moonflower, Huckleberry Wreath, Rustic Lodge, Driftwood and Jasmine. Now Driftwood and Jasmine, I had a hard time placing this one. You could very easily put this in floral, but I ran out of space in the floral one, so I just stuck it in here. But I feel like that Driftwood and the Coconut is kind of an earthy coconut, so it's, it's going in here. We have Fireside Chat, it's a very woodsy scent. Toasted Acorn and Oak, again, very, very woodsy. Midnight Fig, very earthy. Vitamin M, very earthy. We have Lavender and White Balsam. I have a, like half a bar of that. This one is like, I don't know. This one is like a gentle tree scent, but with the astringency of lavender. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not one of my favorites. I probably would not repurchase it, but it does have fans and I can see why. Then we have Apple S'mores. This one I do love. This is my last bar of this. I think Region 3 recently got this in their Bring Back My Bar. So I think Sara grabbed a bar for me, which I really appreciate because I'm down to my last bar. Yes, this one is very good. It is like a red apple. It's got some marshmallow. It's got some woodsiness to it. What else does it have? Like it's sweet, earthy woodsy not smoky though but it's just really really nice and complex i like that one more red berry and spruce i think i have three bars of this total kind of scattered out in here but that's all i got in my stash then i have a bar of graduation this one is in my club this is like suede leather um and vintage musk and apple it's kind of earthy and woodsy and then i have like a homemade bar from another consultant of ghostly greetings Next we have the perfumey drawer. So what I did is I've always had a floral drawer. So before I redid the office here, I only had two of these cabinets. So like I had two, one, two. Now I have four. So I had room to spread out a bit. So floral is now perfumey as well. So there's two separate drawers. So we have perfumey and we have floral. So the perfumey drawer is more scents that are like kind of body care inspired or ones that I think are more perfumey than flowery. So shimmer, Forever Yours, we got Sparkling Magnolia, Enchanted Mist, 
I have cashmere at the back here because it terrifies me. This was a bring back my bar a long time ago. And this smells like, I don't even know. Like I can't with this bar. It doesn't smell terrible right now, but often I get cat pee vibes and often I get like, it's just very, very heady floral. Um, it smells like the Dowager Countess on Downton Abbey, what kind of soap she would use. Like, it's not a terrible smell, but it's like a very, very serious, very like formal older lady scent. So yes, it smells like the Dowager Countess, very formal, very Victorian. There's that one. Um, I've never had the guts to melt that one myself. We have Love Story, which is apparently like a dupe for the Victoria's Secret perfume. So that's in there. Flower Child. My Only Sunshine. Cashmere and Corduroy. Um, Sweet Amber and Freesia. This one almost went in floral and it might go in floral again. Um, this one could kind of be either one to my nose. We also have Darling Dahlia here. Lucky in Love. This one could very easily go into citrus, but citrus is getting full too. And to me, it's almost like a body care type of citrus. Like that one could be body care. Love and Happiness to me has like a perfumey or cologne vibe to it. So that one goes in here. Lux Vanilla. This one smells like really fancy, nice baby powder. So like we have newborn nursery in the catalog and that one smells like just straight up baby powder. Lux Vanilla is more like fancy baby, fancy baby powder. And I would say like clean baby powder. Like, so like it's not perfumey, but it's body carish in that you have like, you have baby powder and you have like soapy clean baby. So there's that one. And then more flower child at the back there. So that's perfumey. Then we have floral and this is kind of the flowery scents. So we have Silhouette, which you could argue could probably go in perfume as well, honestly. That's where I'm gonna put it. Because to me, Silhouette seems more perfumey. Uh, Sweet But Fierce, Honeymoon Hideaway. I got two bars of that. We have Catching Z's Shut Eye and another bar of Thunderstorm, like I said. I have that in both the fresh and in the floral ones. Bora Bora Blossom, one of my favorites. Summer Moonlight, those two mix really nicely. Uh, down the Aisle, Pink Lemon Water, nice florals. Um, Shower and Flowers is one that I really, really like. This is a beautiful like raindrop on petals type scent. It's really pretty. Simply Rose, this one will blow you out of the house. Um, it is a strong, strong, strong rose. Yeah, very strong rose. Like. If you think intense rose, you're thinking that. Um, cozy cardigan. This one could easily go in perfumey as well, but it's just in here for now. Shimmer. Again, I have a bar of that in perfumey. I also have a bar in here. Sweet pea and vanilla and lucky in love. Yeah, sweet pea and vanilla definitely goes in floral. It's like a slightly sweetened floral scent. Lucky in love again is also in perfumey. So the reason there's sometimes bars in different bins like say I have shimmer in floral and in perfumey I'm not always like if I if I use up one of those bars I'm not gonna replace it in that drawer it'll just be like in six months from now if I want shimmer I'm not gonna remember exactly which drawer I put it in so I'll easily find it either way um and yeah it's just easier space wise to have one in each drawer that's just kind of how my brain works that I think would drive some people crazy, but that's just kind of how my brain works. So now towards the bottom here, we have Christmas scents and fall overthrow or fall overflow, as well as winter scents, and then my reject bin. So Christmas is full because Christmas is like my favorite time of year. So we have some bars of Tinselberry, we have jeweled pomegranate, cookies for Santa, Christmas cottage, a couple bars of that, a couple bars of Be Merry. Cozy Fireside, Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. We got two bars of Spiced Eggnog in here. Arctic Kiss. More Christmas Cottage. A homemade bar of Candy Cane Wishes from another consultant. Hollyberry Cinnamon, which I really, really like. And Joy and Wonder and Wassail Wonderland. 
So I have many Christmas scents because I use so much wax at that time of year. Um, this is just kind of some of them. Fall Overflow. We have some Spiced Apple Chestnut. And then kind of like duplicate bars of other fall scents. There's none here that I haven't talked about already. Um, but I do have the fancy packaging from Jack's Obsession. I got that last fall, I think it was. But yeah, I was excited to get that. That's cool. Um, winter. So this is like wintry scents that are not really Christmassy necessarily. Although some of these are. Um, we have Spiced Apple Chestnut, very wintry. Fireside Chat, same thing. Cran candied Cranberry Pecan. I think I would mostly use a Christmas, but it's there. Scarlet Woods is very wintry. Pomegranate Prosecco. Um, that is a scent that I warm almost exclusively at New Year's Eve. So that's under winter because it's not really holiday, but it kind of is holiday. I don't know. Just for you, I'm Snow Over It. Uh, Maraschino Sugar Cookie, which is coming back in brick form this holiday season. Yay. So I can finally use my sad two cubes that I saved so I can remember what it smelled like. Yes, it is like a little bit of almond extract, but not overpowering. But like cherry sugar cookies, it is good. Um, Homestead Holiday, Spiced Ember Glow, Christmas Cuddles, more Spiced Apple Chestnut. And then the bottom here is my reject bin. Now when I have a scent that I either sniff and I'm just like absolutely not, or I use it once and I'm like nope, it goes in my reject bin. So there's a few in here and it's getting kind of full. So this is about a year's worth of accumulation. Um, when it gets full, I take it to work and let my coworkers sift through it and take what they want to adopt and they can just take it. Um, yeah, so family and friends or coworkers will have the opportunity to get gems such as Sunrise with Friends, which smells like literal, just, just rank armpits. And then we have Tiari and Coconut, which was not a scent for me. Um, this one, I can see why some folks would like. It's a very, like, sweet, like, tiari, summery scent. Some folks will like this. It's a great performer. Anyone who likes this scent, I think, will enjoy this bar. I just don't enjoy the scent. So, someone will enjoy that. I don't see anyone adopting this one, to be honest. This one is just bad. Malt cider and spice, I have, like, three bars of this here. Like, one partial and then two full. This one... Again, I think someone will, adopt, someone will adopt this. It's just, there's something about the spice note in this one that burns my nose, I don't know why. And it reminds me of when we had our cat put down. Because this one was one of the scents that I was warming the night before his vet appointment. And it was just, this one is sad memories now. So that one's a no. Then we have Very Perry Pumpkin. Which I might take out of here and try to mix and save somehow. But I don't know. Life's too short for bad wax. It's not better. Oh, nope. It's not better. Nope. Okay. Circle of Life. This one was not a bad scent. I actually liked this one a bit. Um, yeah, on cold, I really like this. On warm, it went a little bit... I don't know. Didn't love it on warm, but someone will. So that one is in there. Roll the dice. I'd be shocked if anyone adopts this one. This one is also like same armpit note as Sunrise with Friends, only this one is like armpit and trees. Yeah, I can't with that one. That is just ooh. pretty and plaid. This will probably be adopted. This is a nice scent, actually. Um, yeah, it's like a pretty slightly slightly perfumey like pine tree scent. Overall, I think it's one that people would enjoy. It's just I'm kind of tired of this scent. I've had a few bars of it. And I'm done with it, but someone will enjoy that. And I do have two bars of it. Then we have Wild Barefoot and Free, which I've used two cubes of. Yeah, this one is just like soapy grass. And not even in the Irish Springs way that Vitamin Inhale was. This one is just like even soapier and not as nice. So if I had to have a soapy grass, I would go for Vitamin Inhale. So I'm going to rehome this one. Again, not an inherently bad scent. Just not for me. I'm not really big into those green scents. And then Black Currant Bubbly, which this one's a lot of people's favorite. I don't know. I just couldn't get on board with this one. Yeah. I can see why. I can see it like I can get a whiff of what some people smell. 
But for me, I get like almost like a, like a towels that have been in the washing machine too long kind of scent from it. And I don't think that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what I get. And I always have with that one. So that is my very blunt thoughts on the scents in my reject bin. And any that don't get adopted, I'll probably do like science experiments on and like try to find mixes for. But so then we come to like the last cart here on the end. And this one is mostly fruity and summer scents. So the top drawer is citrus, because I do reach for citrus all year round. And in here I have two bars of Blue Grotto. I have Aloha Citrus. I have yellow oodles of orange. I have two bars of that. I have Cherry Limeade, Lemon Sorbet, a couple bars of that. I have Grapefruit Sunrise, White Grapefruit, and then two bars of Rise and Sunshine and a squeeze the day, and that's what I got in there. That's everything in there. My go-to citrus, where's my Be Fabulous? Do I not have any Be Fabulous? Oh my gosh, you guys, I used up Be Fabulous and didn't replace it. I do have it in my club, so I'll get another bar in February, but yeah, usually Be Fabulous goes in here too, but I'm, I'm out right now. Yeah, so my go-to for now is gonna have to be Blue Grotto, but yeah. Summer fruity. So this is fruity scents that I would only warm in the summer. So like hot weather fruity scents. So we have pineapple sorbet, which is a fantastic one. We have taste of summer, which is like a lemon iced tea. Pineapple mango, apple teeny splash. Apple teeny splash is also in the plain fruity drawer, like year round fruity. But I do have a bar of it in here just because it's also kind of a like summer scent. Um, Paradise punch more pineapple sorbet, we have peach nectar, rainbow sherbet, pineapple pucker, coastal strawberry, tropic tango, coconut daiquiri. This one was so good. I wish we had this one back, but we did not. Um, banana berry. This one's also just in like the fruity drawer, or I think this one's actually in the sweet drawer. My husband really likes this one. So it's not a favorite of mine. It's a bit medicinal to me. It kind of smells like banana amoxicillin. So he gets to warm this one on his birthday. Um, go Go Mango. Red. This one probably shouldn't be in here. I'll probably swap it out at some point. Um, watermelon Wave and Coconut Lemongrass. So more summery ones. This is the Summer Fresh drawer. So fresh scents that are summery. So we have Coconut Cotton, Coastal Sunset, Wisteria Waterfall, Shoreline Drive, Welcome Summer, Mahalo Coconut, White Sands, Sand Swept, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, which I clubbed last spring and summer, but I didn't club this time. So this is my only bar of this until next spring and summer. Uh, Make a Splash, Maui Mist, we have Kikui and Coconut, which I did end up clubbing, Shoreline Drive, Ocean, uh, Hibiscus Water, which is really, really nice, and Mojito Mambo. So there's some like nice fresh either aquatic or like kind of yeah aquatic or like fresh florals that type of thing that are very summery mm -hmm. then we have fruity this is like year-round fruity so if i'm feeling like a fruity scent or i want a fruity mixer come to these drawers so we have berry bright peach nectar mad for melon that one is what i'm gonna do is switch out because i had something in here that yeah. Yeah, red doesn't really go in here, but Mad for Melon does. So I'm going to switch that into the summer fruity drawer and bring that one here. So we can have two deep of red. There we go. So yeah. We got Let's Get Punchy, Lemon Time Berry. This one was a bring back my bar at one point. This is a really nice like berry lemonade type scent. I really like that one. Apple Teeny Splash, Ruby Nectarine, Aussie Plum, Grape Granita, Banana Rama, uh, Johnny Appleseed, It's Love, Blueberry Rush, Perfectly Pomegranate, and the Green Chase Rainbows. More fruity. We have Skinny Dippin', which I would argue is just summer fruity. So it's going to go live in here. Hibiscus Pineapple, also summer fruity. So th these front like five or six bars, yeah, six bars, 
are going to be summer fruity because they're just overflow. So coconut daiquiri again, pastelitos, very summery, summer holiday, cherry limeade. These are all super summery scents. Um, it's love again, more blueberry rush, appealing apple, ambrosia, A is for apple, first kiss fireworks, pina colada cha cha, watermelon tangerine, peachy and palm trees, desert tropics, coco lime, and watermelon wave. So again, I got quite a few more summer ones in there. Um, so this could even become just like a, a fruity summer overflow. Next we have like vendor drawers and nonsensey wax. So I've differentiated here between vendor, which I think is, I think of vendors as like very small businesses, maybe run out of people's homes or just very small operations. Then I have nonsensey wax and I consider that to be like branded wax that's from like companies that are larger. Um, but they're just not scentsy. So here we have like sensationals. Like you can buy this at Walmart. It's a large company. Um, we have Better Homes and Gardens, um, Serendipity. This one is a larger company as well in Canada. So I've put those under like non scentsy wax. And then I've got vendor wax here, which is like smaller companies that also make wax. So here we have some stuff from um, Country Market Crafts on Etsy. She's amazing. She's on, I think, hiatus until September for the summer. But she makes amazing stuff. I will definitely repurchase from her. I've got some stuff from Zape here. They are coming out with their fall collection here soon. I intend to pick up some of that. And these were gifts from uh, Melissa. And along with uh, Rose Girls here. So I think they are like a... I, can, I would consider them a vendor rather than like a big company you can buy in stores. So there's those. Then we have Licensed. So in my licensed drawers down here, I have Stitch, Winnie the Pooh, just one bite. This one's a good like molasses apple. Yeah, this one's got like a nice dark molasses note. That's gonna go in the uh, fall. Ah, nah. I'm gonna put it back in here, but what I'm gonna do is when I make my like September melting basket, this is gonna go in that. We've got Dumbo, uh, Mistress of Evil. We've got some Moana, some Mickey Mouse, Mandalorian. This one's fun, and we, we aren't getting this back, I don't think. This is Haunted Mansion, three thumbs up. This one's like a gently spiced, like, pumpkin bread, or even just spiced bread. It's really nice. I like that one. Uh, some Cinderella bars, which are really, it's in a really nice soft floral. And then we've got Belle. And then more licensed. We have more Star Wars, Cars, Radiator Springs, some Harry Potter bars. One more bar of Big Hero 6. Mulan, which is a really nice, like, almost gingery floral. Uh, if you've ever smelled Kimono Rose from the Times line, um, I don't know if the U.S. has Times, but in Canada we have a like, bath and body line called Times. It's usually sold at, like, chapters or, like, gift gifty type stores. It smells quite a lot like uh, Kimono Rose. It's really pretty. And then we have Ariel more Moana. So we got some Stitch. Stitch is missing angels. We need to put them together. Okay. Turning Red, Mickey Mouse, and yeah. There we go. I do also have up on the top here one more like kit of the Harry Potter bars. So there's those. So that is, and hold on a sec, we're missing something important here. Under this table here is Piper. Hey, pipe cat. Come here, pipey. There she is. So Piper is fully grown, as you can see. And there she is. Okay. What do you think, Pipe? Should we wrap this up? Are we good? I think so. So that was my office, so thank you for watching. If you got any ideas, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. Um, if you just enjoyed kind of snooping through my collection, that is also great. I love seeing what people have in their stashes. So I love those kinds of videos. So hope you enjoyed. If you have any ideas for other people or ideas on how you organize your stash, we'd love to hear them below. Otherwise, we will talk to you next time and we'll see you later. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.